In today's video I'm gonna show you how to create that animation. All we need is just a few assets in different Z position and we're gonna achieve an amazing look. So without further ado let's get straight into After Effects. So we're in the software here, we got the comp settings and I got four assets on the timeline already. So we got a bill, we got the rock, we got the man on a cliff and we also have the background. So I'm gonna turn on the visibility for these three. Obviously I'm gonna create a new camera. Let's say 50mm preset, hit OK, create a new null object, parent the camera to the null, drag underneath, change the color, and we're gonna turn on the 3D layer on everything. I'm just gonna rename it for clarity. So basically all you need is make sure you're in the second view and it's custom view one. And we're gonna just create separation between the assets. So I'm gonna grab the background and with Z position I'm gonna move it away. Now I'm gonna scale it up just like that to fill out the whole frame. We're gonna grab the man on the cliff and move him away. Then we need to scale him up as well and provide drag him a little bit lower. So if you take a look here, we basically have something like that. I could probably move him somewhere here and scale him up again. All right, so now if I actually move over to the cam control and I play around with Z position, you're gonna notice that 3D feel. So basically we're passing by the rock and it's basically giving us a lot of depth. You'd think that it's not making a lot of difference, but it is. Just take a closer look. So now I'm gonna turn on the visibility for the bill and we're just gonna scale it down and we're just gonna lock every other layer and we're just gonna put it in random places. So this one is gonna go here, then we're gonna duplicate, put one closer to the camera, play around with orientation and position. Then this one is gonna go here. Okay, as so I'm looking at them, I feel like we need to scale them down actually all together. And what we're gonna do is select them all again I'm gonna hit P, create a keyframe for position, move it somewhere here, and separately we're gonna create the movement for each of them. Just a slight movement to add a little bit of spice. Okay, so that's how it's looking. I'm gonna just change the position for this one. And then what we're gonna do is unlock them, create a keyframe for position in cam control, move it to the very beginning, and we're just gonna get closer to the character. Okay, as I'm looking at this, I feel like he could be a bit lower. Okay, perfect. And you can notice that nice 3D feel. Now let's add a graph. So we're just gonna probably add a mid graph. That's the one, but it's extremely slow. So we're just gonna make it faster. Pretty cool. I'm just lacking one dollar bill. Okay, something like that should do. I'm gonna get closer to the character. And we're just gonna make two adjustments for these two dollars. And now the game changer is adding a little bit of wiggle. So I'm gonna head over to transform in our camera. All click point of interest, type in wiggle, and in brackets we're gonna add 1.3 comma 13. I'm gonna actually select all the dollar bills, pre-compose them, call them bills, and we're gonna click that little asterisk. I'm gonna head over here, I'm gonna add tint to one of the dollars, and then curves, we're just gonna add a little bit of shadow, then copy these two effects and paste them to all the other dollars. So now it's just gonna match the scene a bit more. One thing we need to do for the background is adding exposure and we're gonna decrease it. Okay, that's nice. And just to add a little bit of depth, I'm gonna type in money, but my keyboard is not cooperating. Okay, please cooperate. Okay, so I'm gonna type in money, then I'm gonna change the fill color to white, or you know what, actually green. We could change the font to Montserrat. I'm gonna use the style black. What's going on with my keyboard? Dude, just so you know, it's my seventh tutorial today. In the first three, OBS didn't work. Then in number four, five, and six, audio got messed up. And right now my keyboard is not cooperating. This has got to be one of the worst days ever. But you know what I'm happy about? That it all happened at the same time. Oh, we're back. No, <laughs> dude, what's going on? Okay, that might be it. I don't think I have a different keyboard. This has been my good friend for a lot of years. Okay, I can type something. I'm gonna recenter it. Then what we're gonna do is grab the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna trim the bottom of the text. Hit F on the keyboard, it works. Then I'm gonna bump up the value and I'm gonna put it in front of the man. Let me just reorder it somewhere here. I'm gonna scale it up. And what I want to add to this is deep glow. We're gonna play around with the value. Okay, it looks pretty sick. The only problem is that we have to fix that dollar. So let me just put it somewhere to the side and maybe upwards. Okay, pretty dope. So now standard procedure, we're gonna create a new adjustment layer. I'm gonna add vignette. And then we're also gonna create another one. And let me just rename it to noise. I'm gonna add the effect. I really like setting the amount of noise to 10% and then unchecking use color noise. So this is gonna be absolutely fantastic and wait till we add motion blur. Just have to head over to bills and turn it on here as well. Okay, so that's the effect. Let me just play it back for you. Okay, let's see the whole thing. All right, that's looking sick. 
So just so you have a better perspective how it looks. So that's how it's looking. You got the dollars, you got the rock, then you got the man on the cliff, money, and the background. And here's the camera movement. It's all about setting assets in different position. So that'll be it for today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed this one and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers guys. Hopefully without any problems. Dude, I'm done for today. <laughs>